I am the Finnish Hulk. There is nothing I can't lift. Fuck your car. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody, Grace still plays, and we're back with more of the Finnish Mark Spending Simulator. No time for BS. So, yes, there was a patch that came in. That's freaking awesome. And that kind of makes sense now. Why things seemed a little bit different last time when we were playing. I know I kept commenting on it. Uh, I guess what happened was I started playing, like, right after the patch went live. Because, damn it, I know I checked. I checked, like, every day to see if there's patches and such. And I swear to God there wasn't at the time. Anyhow, you'll notice... That my money is of normal proportions right now. I uncheated the money, as it were. So we are we are fresh and good again. And look at this right here. This is the rest of the paint job on uh, one of the custom skins that one of the viewers made. Very, very cool. We got uh, Topless Gun over here. My personal favorite show on Finnish TV at the moment. Gray still plays with the pinstriping. Oh, at the bottom here, we got our sausage sponsors. Really, Makara. We got, of course, the Homo Hyperclean. A little bit of oil, nibble on beers, and this is actually very freaky. Okay, so this is the number 23 here. I don't exactly know why the viewer chose the number 23, but this is very, very odd because uh, back when I was a young man and I used to play baseball on a team, I was uh, number 23. Very strange. That's got to be coincidental. I know my garage still looks like crap. Here, now you don't have to, now you don't have to worry about it. Um, the very first thing that we're going to need to do, well, actually, the very first thing that we're going to need to do is find out what time it is. Uh, and the time is 4 o'clock. Okay, so, stuff I want to do today. First things first, let's go right over here to the manual of, uh, parts. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the new things that the update brought with us. And one of those things is... Da, 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 where the hell is it? Da, da. We got one of these right here, this new tachometer. Which is new and exciting, but more than that, there's a bunch of new rally items. Look at this crap right here. We got rally seats. We got the uh, we got the harness over here, and then we have this rally wheel. Well, we're gonna want all of this, and you can immediately see it's gonna cost us. Jesus, it's gonna cost us 6,700, 6,800. So we just barely have enough money right now. Let's go ahead and do this. That's gonna get us a letter prepared. I'm gonna take this letter now, because if I don't do this now, I know I'll forget. Now, we're not going to take our car over there. What I think we're going to do is we're going to take the big old tanker. And the reason why is so that we can kind of kill two birds, one stone. We can make a little bit of money, which is going to be super important by sucking up that sweet, delicious fecal material. Actually, it's a really, really odd way to describe fecal material. That highly profitable <laughs> fecal material. No one better steal my freaking, uh, my freaking letter, by the by. And while we're here... Wah! Go ahead and fi finish headbutt through here and grab a couple of sausages. We'll put these in the cabin as well so that we have those prepared. I don't even think that we have a case of beer in there, which is an amazing issue. The, the reason that it's an issue is because we're playing My Summer Car, which means that every time you leave, go, travel, or progress somewhere in the game, you should have a case of beer fairly close to you. So let's make sure that we do that immediately. In fact, while we're grabbing this beer, let's go ahead and grab a beer. Oh, yeah, God almighty. That's what I'm talking about. It's amazing how this guy can, like, belch so heartily after after drinking a beer every, every single time. It's, it's, well, I guess it's not amazing. If, if you drink carbonated beverages consistently as he does, I guess that's a thing. I did want to check. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we messed with this car so much. Yep, right here. Look at this bullshit. This is what I'm talking about, man. Look at this. I knew that somewhere around here, we probably got all kinds of bolts undone. I, I'm going to die when I drive this thing. We've done so much stress testing to this car. Crap, I don't even remember what number's back there. I think it's a 12. We've done so much stress testing with this car and, like, met monkeying around with it that, oh my god, I was right, that there's probably all kind of bolts that aren't freaking in their correct spots. Now, I think it's 12 for the big bolts, and I'll bet the other little bolts are undone as well. And I'm, I think it's six. For the, now, apparently you can, so you're crouched, and you jump, yes, and you can jump right to a standing position. Oh, that's so good. Like, as ridiculous as an update that is, like, that makes all the difference. I'm so happy about this. All right, right down, where the hell are you, son of a bitch? Right there. Yep, right there. These ones are undone as well, so let's go ahead and fix these up real quick. We've got 
two on both sides. Oh, Jesus Christ. I have to find the other one. Where are you? you oh, you bastard. Don't you do this to me. Not on YouTube. Found it. Okay, good. The flies are really, really, like, strong today as well. Okay, so I'm playing right now without my little background music that I often have on me. Some people thought that was the music to the game. That was just music I kind of inserted because the game's, like, very eerily quiet without any music. How do you guys feel about that? Would you guys prefer some level of background music, like the little funny background music that I had before, or just keep it natural like this? Let me know in the comment section. Some people asked, why don't I ever use the radio? I need to import some tracks, but I have to make sure that I import stuff that is royalty-free, because normal human beings, oh Jesus, normal human beings are allowed to import whatever they want. I can't or I get copyright struck and then bad shit happens. Oh, it's the strange girl. Hold on. I'm gonna let this girl talk so everyone can hear her. Okay, that's enough. That's just... Okay, so real quick, my, my beautiful finish, folks. Is that like a super creepy ring girl voice? For those of you who know the ring girl is from the movie The Ring, which was like a, a redone... That was like a Japanese horror movie that was redone over here in America, whatever you want to call her. That, that's just a really strange voice, man. It sounded like a little girl whispering while she's hiding in the closet trying not to get skinned by her psychopathic father. Um, of course, rain right on me. Why not? Let me go, uh, let me just make sure that... Oh, oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on now. There was bolts underneath here, too, that weren't fully in. Where's the other one? I know there was. Right there. This freaking hood will be coming off every five seconds. It's a sun shower. It's freaking perfectly sunny outside. We have a lot of this where I'm from. I'll tell you what. Where I'm from, we have a saying. And the saying is, it rains just long enough to piss the sun off. Because, uh, okay, so obviously over here in the United States, I'm a uh, imperial using rat bastard when it comes to measurement. So... It's usually between 90 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit where I'm at. And the humidity is typically between 80% and 100%. So when it rains like this, the entire area turns into a sauna. You could go outside with clothing that like that's all wrinkled and stuff, and your clothing will get pressed just by being outside. It's it's horrible. I mean it, it you, you may think to yourself, oh man, so your clothes are never wrinkled? Well great no, it's freaking horrible. I would give up anything. To not have weather like that. And maybe one day I will. One day perhaps I'll move. I'm going to get the sauna going. Because what we're going to do is we're going to grab a sauna real real fast in a little minute here. I am going to... You know what? Real fast. Let's go grab a nice sausage. Oh, look at all this delicious milk and sausage. Uh, always got plenty of sausage inside the refrigerator. Remember, if you're super lazy, just finish headbutt right through the wall. And you can grab yourself a sausage should you wish. I wonder if you can finish headbutt through here too. Yep, you sure can. Finish headbutt right from the outside like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a real quick just kind of inspection of a few more bolts just to make sure that they're all good. And then we're gonna like get inside of the sauna and then we're gonna go to sleep. And then the next day is gonna come. We're gonna go mail that freaking letter, maybe suck up some shit to get some money. And there's a couple new things in the game that I wanna see too. Apparently there's a new car around here somewhere over by uh, Periyarvi. Am I saying that right, by the way? Someone said that the J is like a Y. So it's P-E-R-A, uh, J-A-R-V-I, isn't it? So Periyarvi? I don't know. Ah, here we are. Here we are, boys. Inside of the sauna, as you folks and I have been many a time, penis meter over there, slowly growing erect. And... This is always a good time for me to talk about the game a little bit and how, man, the developer couldn't pick a better time for an update. You know what would be great? I would really like to see, like, one update a month. And I'm really curious, too. You know, this series kind of has... Um, there's been a lot of people interested in My Summer Car, so, and, and especially kind of like that have found the series or, or vice versa, watched the series, and then, and then started playing My Summer Car. So I figure I would ask... So I can send a, maybe an email or something to the developer. What kind of suggestions would you guys have for stuff to add to this game? Like, what would you like to see? If you could, if you could see something in this game added, 
Uh, what would it what would it be now for me? I, I'm not gonna ask this question without answering it a little bit I think that the and this is probably true for like almost everyone watching the series More cars to build. I know a lot of people said The cars inside of those barns that we find those old wrecks there It would be awesome if we could freaking restore those and then Like customize those you know, what I mean like do different things to them like change like just how we can with this car change the weight around a little bit change the uh the tires around the gear ratios stuff like that maybe have a car that's like um like a like a, a mud car like an off-roading mud car or maybe having a car that's like a dragster a drag car or something like that something that would be good on that strip that little uh that little mile strip that we have down at the airport i think that would be really cool anyway yeah feel free to let me know guys i'm really interested i just want to put a little something together and kind of send it over to the developer i figure what the hell you know we're all kind of having fun playing this game together It'd be a good opportunity to get some feedback in. Anyway, a couple of beers down. We're nice and clean here. I'm going to go ahead and let the old the old stream fly. <laughs> oh, can we hit it? Hold on. Come on. Come on, hit it. Hit it. I know we have the penal power, man. Come on. Where's the power of my wiener? I keep hitting the freaking hitchhiking. Okay, I guess not. Oh, you can't pee on this anymore? Or am I just really bad at aiming? I could just be really bad at aiming. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, get some shut eye, and we'll be back in the morning. Heading on out to to Perry Arby. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Well, won't you be mine? And we're stuck in Groundhog Day as usual. As you can see, it's still Friday. This glitch happens to me every once in a while. I don't know why. Let me see if I can use some of this mosquito spray. Uh, let me jump up on top. Wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Was there something odd up here? Oh, I can see. This is interesting. I can see through my house. I thought maybe there was something cool up here. Oh, I wonder if I could break the rules of physics at all. Eh. Let's go ahead and finish headbutt our way over here to the uh, to the mosquito spray. Use this in real quick. Maybe that'll stop us from the buzzy buzzy. There we have it. While we're here, real fast, is there a case of beer over here? No, there is certainly not. I can still hear the freaking fly. Oh, I turned my, uh, I took this out as well so that we didn't get woken up in the middle of the night. I think it's 8 o'clock in the morning, which means it is a beautiful day for driving. Go ahead and finish headbutt through here and grab a beer first thing in the morning. Oh, let's try and get it in the basket. Hold on, you guys know the game. You guys know the game. Here we go. Swish! Ah, oh, I couldn't tell if that went in or not. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and grab our giant tanker of epic power. I'm not sure how much gas we have in this thing. Well, diesel. Uh, hopefully quite a bit. Why is my envelope slowly moving around? That's another thing I'd like to see for the game. It would be great if we could have, like, a backpack or something. Like a satchel... Or, like, just to be able to carry stuff on us. I don't know if that's, like, a... I don't know if that's, like, a development issue or what. But just losing your... You know, like, losing this little this little envelope potentially just sucks ass. And I would hate to have it happen. Let me go ahead and warm this thing up and we'll get the hell out of here. All right, man. We are out of here. Oh, another part of the update was that uh, you can die now inside of this truck. I know... Oh, Jesus Christ. And, of course, I'll probably be dying in short order here. I know I had mentioned before to you guys that if you don't have, like, a lot of confidence in your driving abilities, always drive this thing. Because back in the back in the day, you were completely invulnerable from dying. Uh, you could do flips. You should see the stuff we did in this freaking, in this freaking tanker. Holy shit, we were, we were doing flips. We were getting into collisions at, like, at, like, maximum speed, which I think is, like, 110 kilometers per hour. We hit, uh, oh, it was called in the patch notes, the Green Menace. It said the Green Menace was removed. Oh, no. Why would you remove him? That was, like, that was, like, one of the most famous parts of the game, from what I can think to myself. Also, if you're new to driving this, always put down the rear axle. The rear axle kind of sucks up gas on these back roads, but while you learn how to drive it, it helps out a lot. So, don't, uh... You know, don't just take my word for it. Try and drive this bitch on the dirt roads for a little bit at, uh, you know, 70, 80 kilometers per hour and then get back to me. Actually, I shouldn't even say that. I always picture a bunch of people playing this game, like, after they see me play and being like, I don't really know what the big issue is. Game, game's super simple. Everything drives like a dream. No big deal. Oh, and that also reminds me, after we drop this this letter off and we get that mailed which I guess it's good that it's Friday because I don't know if the postmaster works on anything but Friday, uh, the weekdays um, one of the things that we are going to have to do for sure is make sure that we come with the van because if we do not come with the van 
picking up the items are going to be a pain in the ass. Because think about it. If one of the items is seats, holy crap, what kind of size box is that going to be? Same thing for a roll cage. I don't even know how this comes packaged. I'm also curious if part of the patch was making that muscle car way less sticky on the roads over here. That was something else I had noticed in the last episode. That I, we were spinning out left and right, man. It was fucking crazy. Um, the, things, the thing went from like a minor death trap to a major death trap. I went ahead and removed the rear lift axle while we drive here. I feel comfortable enough with this vehicle to know what I'm doing. I also, I should have looked. I don't know how much shit we have in the back here. Um, I don't think that we're full up. I have to consider too that I don't get pulled over by the police because we are picking up speed really damn fast. I feel like there's almost more pick me up here that there didn't used to be or something like that. I think that this vehicle is regulated to like 80 kilometers per hour. And we're going 100 right now. Well, no police yet. So far, so good, man. I don't have my hammer either. Oh, someone, well, a bunch of you guys had spotted the hammer. I think it was over by uh, uh, Loppy, though, isn't it? Am I pronouncing that right again? I know I got to the point where I didn't even want to say the damn name of that place. Because I always felt bad. Like, I always felt like I was screwing it up. Some people said it was like, um, what was it? It was supposed to be like, like Lop, as in like, like, lop a head off and then p as in like p e e i think or maybe it's lop pay i don't know and you can see we're capping that out at right around 110 uh, when you go uphill it goes down to 110 but when we're going downhill it's right about like 115 kilometers per hour you can get into some pretty freaking big wrecks with this thing like that i'm getting pretty good at like drifting around these corners too like understanding how this thing drives over here this is uh you don't want to do the first exit by the way this is the exit to the um the uh whatchamacallit you know the thing with the stuff hold on let me let me show you guys you know the the rachondria or rota oh my god i'm so bad at this hold on let me find it Rai poma oh god i feel like i just missed like 30 30 different letters there well it's the airport that's where you can find the couch. Oh, the couch is still sitting over there too. Oh, I forgot about that. Now we getting the couch in here is a gigantic pain in the balls. So I don't know if we'll take the couch back with this. Oh, we got the police here. I think right here. Look at this. Look at this jerk wad right here. All right. So we got to get ready. Hold on. We're going to kind of go. Well, I'm, man, I'm really happy that I was going freaking slow. That's for damn sure because we were speeding the whole way. All right. So to do this. Go ahead and throw uh, throw the gears down here because I don't feel like killing any cops right now. We're going to go ahead and do this the right way. Right about here. Stop sliding around. Now, I think that that beer that we had early in the morning has most likely worn off by now. Should be fine. I always wonder if that's just brush out there or if that's pieces of Jesus. Or if that's pieces of stuff that have flown out of the car as we've been playing. Man, there's shit everywhere. How you feel about that, Polizzi? Good? All right. Looks good. We get, we need to name this guy too. Remember the guys over at the uh, we decided the guys over at the pub are named Pekka and Penna. Go ahead and see if I can reverse my way out of this without killing this guy. Also, I'm gonna have to sit in the middle of the roadway for just a second to right myself because see how when you get into the when you get into the truck in the middle of the road like this, look at how like all jacked up you are. It's freaking horrible. All right, hold on. Let me do this quick so that we don't die. Uh, there we go. Okay, good. Let's get the hell out of here. Boogity, 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 boys. We made it. Here we are at town. So now we can go ahead and send our letter off. Probably buy some more beer and stuff. Because, man, when you start getting this low on beer, I get real freaked out. Oh, what is this? What is this bullshit? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's a new thump thump car. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. I, we need to check it out. Oh, I don't have my hammer on me, son of a bitch. Okay, hold on. Oh, let's turn this thing off too so we're not burning up gas. There. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, we still have our keys to beer over here. Oh, the thump thump car is back and it's looking freaking sweet. Hold on, hold on. Can we, pu can we push it? Yes. Yes, you can push it. Oh, I wonder if we can do some crazy shit to it. Hold on, let me see if I can get this thing flipped. Oh, we're damaging the crap out of it with our hands. Look at it. <laughs> yes. Oh, thump, thump car. You thought you could hide from me, you bastard. You must be freaking crazy. Wow. Our incredible finished hands are beating the shit out of this car. 
This is freaking amazing. Look at the damage we've done to it so far. Yeah! I wonder where Mr. Thump Thump is. Like, is he, is he inside? There's nothing inside. Hold on, let me get up like this. Nope, there's there's nothing in the car right now. Ooh, I wonder if we can do something crazy by finish headbutting while pushing it. Oh, oh, we're starting to get it to bounce, boys. Hold on. Oh, we're making it bounce, boys. We're making it bounce. Oh, I'm gonna bounce this bitch right into the freaking, hold on. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna bounce it inside of the freaking, uh, inside of the, uh, the shop. Oh, I wonder if I can flip it over. Come on, baby. Flip for gray. Flip for gray, you bastard. Flip for me. Do it. Oh, we are inside of the car. We are legit inside of the car. Oh, this is cool. Look, we can we can drive it. Yes, I'm driving the new car. I'm driving. Oh, oh, we're getting it to flip. Yes. Screw you, thump thump car. Freaking retribution is mine. Oh man, we went through it. Crap. How do I get back into it? Yes. <laughs> oh yes. Gray will break all of the things that must remain unbroken, damn it. Do it with me, guys. Let's burst through it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we almost got it. Hold on. I know we can throw this thing over. Oh, look at what we've done to this thing. I am the finish, Hulk. There is nothing I can't lift. Fuck your car. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. That's BS, man. We got it over. All right. So that's awesome. We beat the living crap out of this thing. And we did flip it over. It just didn't stay over. All right, I've had enough fun for right now. So that's cool. So that must be the new car. Now it says that this car, like you can race it and stuff. So I wonder if that's like our competitor. When we do the rally, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a beer real quick. Okay, let's get our letter. Let's get our letter freaking uh, mailed because we need to do that. Otherwise I'm gonna forget. Grab the old letter, throw her right in. That, like, there, there we go. Now it's inside. Kodo Shpade, my man. Yes. How's it going? Oh, shit. We got a big... And we got a big-ass bill over there that we got to pay in gas. I forgot all about that. Um, all right, well, I guess it's good that we're here. Oh, I wonder if I can do gas right now or if I'd have to pay my other bill to even, like, start getting the gas here. We are all freshly uh, shitted out. So we don't have any extra shit laying in here. Okay, someone said that from empty, it takes 13 minutes to fill this thing up. So that means I've got like six or seven minutes just sitting here. So I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. All right, man, we're all gassed up. Go ahead and hit the old ignition here to get the uh, the spot, the glow plugs warmed up. Looks like they're already warmed up though. So getting this thing going shouldn't be a problem. All right, so the one thing that we're gonna need to do real quick is we've got two areas right around here that we can uh, suck some shit from. So that's gonna be really important. Go ahead and... Uh, Throw this thing into gear here. That's gonna get us. I mean, I can't remember what it is. I think it's 1,200 marks for each one. So there should be one. What is it? Right up here, I do believe. And then there should be another one right up here as well. I think that the first one is that yellow house right over there. And I think there's another one up that way or something. I know they're really close to one another. Like you, they can almost see each other. I am fairly sure that this thing is ready to go. Let's go check it out here. Go bring the vehicle right about over here throw the old parking brake on hit the uh hit the hydraulic pump might as well turn that on right away man get things going quick just in case oh man look at that parking job holy shit i tell you i get better and better all the time damn it there's nothing in there Ugh. uh that guy does not have the bottle we want people were saying that if you take a guy out with a bottle of booze you can go ahead and drink it um, all right, let me go get to the other one, which I think is down that way. All right, I found the other one was down by the water over here. But, man, this one is, uh, shit. This one's totally empty as well. How's this guy look? Does he have anything important for us? Eh, just a regular bottle over there. What we could do is we could drive over to the other town. I think that's where our hammer is as well. We can pick up our hammer, and there's some places over there that you can uh, that you can do some uh, some shit pumping. So maybe we'll go check that out real quick. All right, we're gonna take the back roads over here to the next town. I left my other cases of beer there because we still have plenty of beer, luckily. And I left the soap there too because what I think I'm gonna do is when I take the, uh, whatchamacallit, the van, the old rape van down there next time, I'm gonna use that to pick up everything. So I'm gonna get the boxes, I'm gonna get that sofa too. It's gonna be so much easier to move with the van rather than trying to shove it into this little tiny cabin of this tanker. Man, this sucks. 
It's been empty shitter tanks all the way around. There's one place left, though, that I know of that we can check out. Right over here. We're getting pretty close to the house, by the way. Um, I still... I I totally forgot about my uh, my freaking hammer, which which goes to figure. It figures that when I'm focused on, so on one thing, I forget something else. I, I, I swear to Christ, I'm going to grab that thing. But there's a little area over here. I drove home real quick. If we go this way... There should be one extra place with a sewage well right over here, I think. Let me go right through this guy's freaking front yard to try and find this place. Yes! Okay, this should be it right over here. Let me check. Okay, hopefully this one has a little bit so we can grab a little bit of cash real fast. Okay, baby, no whammies! Come on now! Yes! Holy crap, I never thought we would see the freaking day! About freaking time. Let me see how much better I've gotten at putting the old round peg in the square hole here and one time that's not too bad man that's all right i think i spoke too soon get down there get down there you, you fucker there we go yes uh-uh throw that bitch down there boys throw it down you gotta use both hands for this hose handling there we go man we're set okay we're gonna get a little bit of cash here in a second that's gonna help out with our money flow issues because remember We've got to pay like, man, I don't even know by now. It's probably like 2,400 marks just for the gas bill that we've racked up. And then on top of that, I mean like another 6,800 to pay for all the things that we're going to buy. Because you have to pay for your postage in one shot. That's why I didn't want to get like everything. Like I didn't want to get, oh, there's a little, uh, there's a little hitchhike mobile. I didn't want to get everything like the radio and stuff like that. I do eventually want to get that killer stereo system and those, uh, the big ass, uh, subwoofers and everything. It's just a little, it's just money right now that we don't need to spend, though. So, let me go ahead and finish this up. I'll show you guys. Let's see if there's anything inside these houses yet. Nope, nothing inside the houses. You know what? There's a wrecked barn over here. I'm just going to check it out real quick. I mean, what's the potential that the developer, let me go see here, put new cars inside of here? No, nothing yet. But it does have the shitty doors, though. So, it looks like it has, I don't remember if it always had the, these crappy looking doors like this. Like the doors that look like they can be knocked off. That would be awesome if he starts bringing out more cars in there. Or, if like, every once in a while, I don't know, like the cars respawn or something like that. Maybe there's like 20 models of cars or something like that in the game and they respawn. So it's just another way to make money. I don't know. I find that there's just not enough ways to make money. Yes! Give me that shit. 1,200 marks, boys. And another successful sewage sucking. Right here. Satana be with us. In our sewage sucking days. Oop, I almost got it out in one shot. I almost forgot you can jump to get out now. There have you. Let me go ahead and pull this. Really? Really? It's my, the hose is still pretty damn slippery in my hands. I've learned quite a bit about hose handling though, you guys. Let me tell you something. I've been handling hoses for a long time now in my summer car. You gotta grab by the tip though. If you want to uh, put it back appropriately. Right like that. There we go, boys. Alright. Another successful sanitation job done. We've got uh, the shitmobile with a little bit of poop in it. I'm going to go ahead and... What do I want to do? I'm probably going to go grab the hammer just so that we have it. And then we're going to have to wait. Hopefully we don't get stuck in Groundhog's Day at Friday forever. I want to be able to get those new packages, all the stuff for our, for our car coming up here. Anyway, folks, hope you guys enjoy my summer car. Until the next time, stay foxy much love.